What's up, Vanguard people? This is Zach Zag here. I got a box opening video for you guys. This is the, I guess it would be the third set. The second booster box instead of a character pack for Buddy Fight. So I have a couple boxes here. I'll open one, maybe do a second video for a second box, but I'll just do the one for now so we can get a look at the cards. And here we go. So first is, I guess, just the one new flag for, for Katana World. Maybe open it up to get a good look at it. So obviously it comes in one per box. First pack. So we have a, a new Magic World weapon. Uh, two and one, and it looks like a guitar. And it's Ether Boost. You may rest this card if you do. For this turn, a monster on your field gets plus three. Um, it's kind of like the gun rod being the hybrid of this and the other. The rod, but this doesn't have a, you don't have to pay gauge to play it, but I don't think it's very good. I don't know how wizards really operate yet. If they need to be beefier than the, or their demon or the 72 pillar counterpart, so I'll find out. Ninja Blade. It's just a, like that drag, like the cheap Dragon World weapon. No gauge to play. Thousand Rapier, so he's finally a common. This guy is insanely good for a grade one. He better be uncommon, right? No, he's just common. He's really good. He's a 5-2 and that's size one. That's huge. A magic world. Oh, 72 pillar. So that's cool. It's a robot. His name is Demon Realm Computer Visago. So I wonder if this is the card shop owner's buddy. Demonic Search. When this card enters the field, discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw a card. So he's a drop and draw. 331. Um, maybe just because he can help you run the engine of having a certain number of 72 pillars in the drop zone or whatever. So he could be useful. Then we have, I guess this is a regular rare. So it's of the set for Katana World's impacts, or where you get to have. I'll just read the card first. So cast cost, pay through gauge. When you're being attacked by an opponent's weapon, this card is in the soul of Secret Sword Lethal Formation being the the impact you cast. You may cast this card. If you do, deal three damage to your opponent and destroy an opponent's item on the field. So the Lethal Formation is a card that allows you to check your deck, drop your discard, or your hand for one of the three cards that work with so this one I think there's the one for weapon there's one for spell and I don't know the other one but uh oh impacts so that allows you to uh, I guess counter or deal counter damage so I think it might negate the impact for example or the, negate the spell and this one destroys your opponent's monster and it's kind of cool I like the idea of this card because you can just play it turn one and have it sit the whole time. The guy in the show does a very good job of kind of showing how you might want to start using this card. Generic card. So this is Castling. So it's more of a chess theme, I guess. Pay one gauge, put a monster on your field into the drop zone. You only cast this card when you have been attacked. What? Counter. Oh, I don't understand this card very much. Pay a gauge and kill a monster. You can only use it if you've been attacked already. And then you can nullify another attack. Ugh. Demon Way. I'm not even going to try and say that. So there's a spell card, pay one gauge, you may only cast this card when your opponent's monster attacks the monster in your center. Nullify the attack, it is not a link attack. If the attacking monster is size 2 or less, destroy it. Well, that's kind of cool. 
Dragobond. You only cast this card if you do not have a monster in the center. Counter. Choose a monster on your field during that this turn. The next time that monster would be destroyed, gain two life. And you may prevent it from leaving the field. Hmm. Demon Way. Another spell. You may only cast this card when your monster is destroyed. Destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Danger Zone. Armonite Formation. Pay a gauge. All Armonites on your field get plus a thousand attack and defense. That's kind of neat. I mean, they're already pretty beefy, so I mean, that card could be scary. I don't know how many people run it with how gauge intensive I've seen Danger World. So, really beefy Danger World. Let's just start off the conversation. Um, a generic uh, size one. I mean, I don't really like these guys. I might be, um, maybe I'm still too focused on the Magic World idea, but one damage is just so slow. 72 pillar. Two crit, four defense. Meh. What is this? This is a spell card. Generic spell card. You can only cast this card if you have five or less life. Put the top card of your deck into the gauge and gain one. Hmm. Or shiny card. I think this card was on the box art. This is a double rare. And it's 72 pillars. Pay three gauge and put the top, put up to 272 pillars from your hand in this card's soul. The cast cost of each of your magic world spells is reduced by one. So he is pretty beefy. He's got double attack, he's a size two, and he caught three gauge and two cards from your hand. But he's got soul guard too, which is pretty cool. Um, I have to figure out how expensive this card really is, because two cards is a lot. But at the same time, that his survivability is very clutch, and the fact that he can attack twice and he's only size two, it's pretty big. Actor Knights the Fool. Generics. So it's outside. Oh, that's why I was confused. It's outside of the chess realm, so the generics start looking different, and this guy would be the same guy in the picture. It, what? It may seem weak at first glance, but it can be used in combination with a spell card to create a powerful effect. So they don't even. His, his effect's just weird in general. But that's kind of cool. That they're introducing weird generic, generic being the literal word here, combos. A size 2, 3 crit, 6 attack. I like that, especially with all the countering that you can do with Ninja World and your monster's dying, so it's defense just to sacrifice your opponents. Yourself for your opponent. It's a beefy size 2. Who knows the Dragon Knight? That's cool. Another Dragonite, it looks like. Pay one gauge. Wind of Time. When this card enters the field, you may return a monster other than Dragonite Riona from your field to your hand. Yeah, size one. Dragonic Paratrooper. You only cast this card during an attack by your opponent's monster. Call an Armored Dragon from your hand by paying its call cost, then change the target of the attack to this monster. Turn all monsters on. Turn all monsters, all of your monsters from the field to your hand. Hmm. I don't remember if the. I guess it could be pretty interesting. If it, it's not a counter speed, but depending on the call, the cost that your opponents do. So like Nosmoda, I'll let you play it again or something like that. Key of Solomon for first volume. Put the top two cards from your deck into the gauge. All right. Seems like everybody's getting a clone of the original Danger World card. I think if I remember from the show, the Katana World's even three gauge. Demon Way. This is a spell. 
You may only cast this card when your opponent casts a spell. Nullify this spell. And uh, instead of gauge, it's life. Hmm. This dude again. Dragon Bond. New spell. Pay one gauge. The next time damage will be dealt to you this turn, it's reduced to zero. And you gain one life. Ooh. That's kind of neat. I wonder if. I think this probably works with Gargantua Punisher and whatnot. I like that. That's nice. Clear Serenity. Put three cards from the top of your deck into the gauge. You may only cast this once per turn. So I guess that's the difference between the normal one and this one is you can only play it once. But I mean, you play it during your turn, then your opponent's turn, then your turn again if you really wanted. Okay. Not very good at opening these. seen any wizards. A bunch of 72 pillars. I'm glad for because it's nice getting some variety. Shooting cross knives. You may only cast this card when your opponent's monster attacks a monster on your right. Nullify the attack and destroy all of your opponent's monsters. Whoa! That's pretty ridiculous. I gotta remember never to attack anything on the right. What the sh Fancy shiny car, so a triple rare. Superior strength ninja. Pay one gauge. He's got move and double attack. Size three, so that makes sense. But that's kind of cool. I don't know if he's usable. He's pretty cheap. So I mean, he might be very easily easily placed in a deck. So that's one triple rare, one double rare. I don't remember what the ratios are. Zero attack, one crit. Interesting. They weren't kidding about weird strengths with those generics. A yeah, wizard. Stark. If a if magic knight light is on your field, this card gets plus three in attack and defense. Mm. So it's, I think that's what that. Chick used on the TV on the in the episode. They power each other up, which is a cool concept because it makes them pretty strong by themselves. So, dual dragon. You may only cast call this card if you have more than four different monsters in your drop zone. Four crit. That's. I think the other guy was even harder to get. He was like a seven seven with two or three crit. And you had to have like six dual dragons. Armed soldier. It's more beefy more danger world. At the end of the turn, destroy this card. If this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monster in the center, this card deals damage equal to its critical to your opponent. Uh, I don't know how these cards work and what their combos are yet. It's basically penetrate is what it's saying. I guess, I guess it might be better than penetrate. Because if you link attack, I wonder if you would be able to deal the damage of the monster that, that you linked attack and then do the damage of the crit. Trivia. Hmm. Okay, size two. I was like, 5-5, five, five, what? It's kind of cool looking. Let's, let's penetrate. Pay one gauge and penetrate. Size two. And this is probably a yeah, dual dragon. Electron Ninja Sheeden. Cyber an an Analysis. You may discard a ninja arts from your hand. 
Pay one gauge. If you do, draw two cards. This ability may only be used once per turn. I don't know what the Ninja Arts cards are. It's probably just the, the subtype for the spells. I don't know. It seems kind of good though. He's got three attack. Trying to get more cards in your hand. Yeah, good plus one. Turn all monsters, all of your monsters from the field to your hand and gain one. Mm. Not even a counter. You may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn. Counter. If it is not a link attack, no effect. He attack. Actor knights the world. Pay one gauge to call him. So he's a 5-2-5. Five, Complete Dominance. Pay, may pay 3 gauge and choose an actor knights the fool from your hand and an actor knights the fool from your drop zone. Reveal them and put them at the bottom of your deck. If you do, after this turn, you get another turn. So that's how you can combo it to be good. So, uh, so if you have one in your hand in the drop zone, you get another turn by paying 3 gauge. So it's kind of like that weird wizard card. We have to have six wizards. I think you pay two or three gauge to get another turn. Chess. Skull Warrior. Demon Way. Choose a Skull Warrior in battle, and for this battle, give it plus, so it's a Drago Energy. But for Skull Warrior. Got another secret sword. This is the one to nullify the impact card. Looks pretty cool. Seventy two pillars. Size two again, so yeah. Size two. Take a chance. When this card enters the field, reveal the top card of your deck. If the revealed card is a spell, you may cast it without paying the cast cost. If you do not, or the revealed card is not a spell, I'll put that card on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I don't play many set cards for spells, but you could build a set deck, I suppose. I don't know how many set cards you can have at a time. Someone told me only one, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to have more than one. Skipping right to the back. So we got the Secret Sword Lethal Formation. So this is definitely a card that you want to have four of. Unfortunately, it's double rare, so I don't think I'll be getting four of them for a deck that I want to build. Pretty cool looking though. Skull Warriors. Armor Dragon, huh? And a bow. You can attack with this card even if you have a monster in the center. That's kind of neat. I wonder if that opens the realm for a whole special kind of weapon. It makes sense since it's a bow to be able to attack over. Actor Knights, Hermit. Nullify spell for two life. Hey, pay one gauge if you do this turn. This card gets plus 3,000. At the end of the turn, destroy this card. He has Penetrate. So this is the white dude. I don't know why he's so rare and the other guys are common. I'll open up the other half of the packs and I'll do a recap video for you guys, so stay tuned. What's up, Vanguard people? We're back. So I got a summary of pulls. I, I pulled out two interesting uncommons. So this is an uncommon impact. And it's an impact that allows you to do either one or the, one or the other. So it's a wizard one. Pay three gauge. You may only cast this if you have a wizard. 
on the field. Destroy all monsters on the opponent's field or deal two damage. So it's kind of interesting that this is an impact that it gives you some options. And destroying all of your opponent's monsters is pretty nice too. There's no weird requirement besides paying three. And then Dragon World gets another Dragon Shield. Why do Dragon Shields not have like any downside to them besides not having anything in the center? Oh no, I can't have something in the center. This one, you don't even have to meet that. It's just reduced damage by two. So you have you could have 12 Dragon Shields and three Drago Energies now. Uh, it's not fun. Victory Slash. So, you can only cast this card when you deal damage to your opponent. When your weapon deals damage to your opponent. Play Rock, Paper, Scissors. If you win, deal damage to your opponent equal to the critical of your weapon. Hmm. Psychic Knife. Dragon. Rest this card, destroy a 5,000 or less defense. I think he's kind of like that uh, one Dragon Knight. Wyatt Earp, that's the name. Phantom Ninja, so this is the guy that lets you look at your opponent's hand. This guy seems really cool. So, Cyber um, on Moji. Same A. Electron Deity, pay two gauge. If you do put a card from your hand face down on the field as a monster, size one with power 6,000, defense 6,000, and two crit. It seems pretty good. You get two cards for the price of one plus gauge, so it's two gauge to get two monsters. And I kind of like that. Double rare. Pay two gauge. The guy has double attack. He's huge. He's size two. He looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like Agnolia from Fairy Tale or whatever. Kind of. Not really. yeah. Just the color scheme. A double rare. Extermination Ninja. Ninja Arts. Pay one life if you do discard all cards from your hand and destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. This ability may only be cast used once per turn. Mm, maybe. I mean, there's always, it's always nice to have a kind of a bomb as a backup in your deck. So, Key of Solomon, second volume. You gain one life, and if you have this first volume in the drop zone, draw a card. And... Armor Knight Tiger, size 0 with 2 crit. That's nuts. I like this card a lot. And he's an Armor Knight. Soul Guard and Penetrate, pay 3 gauge, put a Skull Warrior from your drop zone with this card soul. Size 3, 8,000 attack, 2 crit, 5 defense. 3 gauge. Hmm. Skull Warrior. Return to the Underworld. I like this card. You may pay one gauge. If you do, call a size one or less Skull Warrior from your drop zone without paying its call cost. You can only use this once per turn. This is awesome. Kosher. Oddly enough, you need wizards to play it, even though he's on it. it you may pay only cast this card if you have two or more wizards on the field. Put the top card of your deck into the gauge and draw a card. You can only cast it once per turn. Got the great spell, My Grandfather Clock. So this was used on the TV show. You pay two gauge. You may only cast this card if you have six or more different wi oh, diff different wizards in the drop zone. Return all cards from your drop zone to your deck. Shuffle your deck. After this turn, you get another turn. Armor Knight Ifrit. Or Ifrit. I don't know how you want to say it. He's big, size 3, 3 crit, penetrate. Maybe. Venom Strike. When this card enters the field, destroy size 1 or less monster on your opponent's field. At the end of the turn, destroy this card. Skull Warrior, though. So with that other card, uh, let you get... Pay 1 gauge to get a monster from your drop zone. You just keep bringing this bad boy back to keep killing your opponent's monsters. And then last, Demon Way, Karakur and I. It's kind of a weirdly restrictive card, but pay two gauge, which is probably why. You may only cast this card if your opponent has two or less cards in their hand, your opponent has four or less life, and neither you nor your opponent has a monster in the center. 
deal four damage. So it's pretty cheap. I I want to see some of these other cards though. If I want to make this deck, I really want to make Ninja World. I'm sure everybody wants to make Ninja World though. So that's gonna make it so hard to make Ninja World. And that's the reason why I bought five boxes so I can try. I won't be able to finish the deck just because I'll be having so many glaring holes. Cause the first set I bought of this, I bought four boxes. Oh man, this card's bent. I bought four boxes. I only got one Demon Lord Asmodai. It made me so sad. But he was SP, so I guess there's that. But this is my buddy fight. I might start doing some buddy fights on my channel. Um, I still, I'm still playing Vanguard. I have videos. I'm just so lazy sometimes to put them up. And plus, I have Windows 8 now. For whatever reason, this camera that I like using. Has issues with the the formats and Windows Media and all that fun stuff associated with it. But other than that, thanks for watching, Vanguard people.